India and Malaysia are locked in a major diplomatic spat, it seems, that began earlier this month at the United Nations General Assembly, and Malaysia's anti-India stand on Kashmir could now cost it dearly. Indian traders are boycotting Malaysian palm oil. India, remember, is the biggest buyer of palm oil from Malaysia. Such a move could seriously impact Malaysian exporters. Many Indian buyers are now buying their supplies from Indonesia instead. Such a boycott has major implications for Malaysia's oil industry. Palm is Malaysia's biggest export and India purchased nearly 4 million tons of palm oil between January and December last year. The value of that import was around $2 billion. This is more than double of what India bought the previous year. In January this year, New Delhi had also cut import duties on palm oil. And now it doesn't want to buy the product altogether. All of this is the result of Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad's speech at the UN earlier this month, last month in fact. Siding with Pakistan, Mohammed had said that India has invaded and occupied Kashmir and now he's crying foul. This week he refused to retract his statement on Kashmir. He described the situation as a trade war between India and Malaysia. Trade war is the latest buzzword in world politics, but this is more than just about trade. Behind the scenes, the Malaysian government is trying to convince India. A major trade agreement between India, China and other Southeast Asian nations is on the line. It is called the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, RCEP. This plan was proposed by China. It's an attempt to create an integrated market of more than 3 billion people that will have a combined GDP of nearly $50 trillion. The, the trade alliance will be equal to about 39% of the world economy, but India remains non-committal. In fact, the Ministry of External Affairs today said that Malaysia's stand on Kashmir is unacceptable. Which have been made by the Malaysian Prime Minister. Um, we have again uh, noted the comments made by, by him uh, uh, day for yesterday. Uh, our position on this matter is very, very clear, and it has been articulated earlier. Uh, I can just say that his uh, statement uh, is unacceptable and is not keeping with the facts. We hope that the government of Malaysia will do serious introspection on the position which they have taken uh, in this matter. Malaysia perhaps now realizes that unless it revises its stand on Kashmir, it cannot expect any headway on the trade front.